Well, North Korea's official line remains quiet on the recent high-profile defection. A close former associate of the late North Korean leader, Kim Jong-il, says Seoul pressured the ambassador to make that choice. Our Kwan Soa has our top story. There has been no official response from North Korea yet on the defection of its deputy ambassador to the UK since the South Korean government officially confirmed the news Wednesday. But that doesn't seem to mean the case is off of Pyongyang's radar. North Korea doesn't necessarily react to defections. It's likely that it's cautiously watching over the situation, considering the impact the case will have internally. Kim myung tol a close former associate of late North Korean leader Kim Jong-il, who is based in Japan and regarded as North Korea's unofficial spokesperson, told British Daily The Telegraph that South Korea's intelligence authorities either forced Tae yong ho to defect or bribed him, claiming he wouldn't have defected on his own. Kim said it's part of a tactic used by South Korea's intelligence agencies to bring about the collapse of the regime. He added the South Korean government is using women to lure North Korean diplomats from all across the world and even suggested South Korea could have kidnapped Tae's children until he agreed to go to the South. Seoul's Unification Ministry spokesperson on Friday characterized the comments as a natural reaction as the North wouldn't want to acknowledge a sense of defeat. He also said that defections like Tez seem to be the result of an unbearable situation and that it could be linked to the tough international sanctions on the regime. As more information about the case emerges, multiple sources close to North Korea say Tae was in charge of the ruling Workers' Party Secretariat, delivering high-level information directly to leader Kim Jong-un. In addition, he was probably also responsible for work related to the Kim family's secret funds. The sources also say that despite their elite status, diplomats of Tae's rank in London are paid around 450 to 500 pounds, or roughly 590 to 660 US dollars per month, and that in many cases, North Korean diplomats abroad can't even afford basic health care. Reports are emerging that an official at the North Korean embassy in Russia also defected recently, with some saying at least seven diplomats have fled this year. Seoul's unification ministry said Friday that it cannot confirm any of the reports due to safety concerns and for diplomatic reasons. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.